Jordan, you met at the training ground is Harry Pinchard, and you must be delighted you got a two-year contract. Yeah, really happy. I was really pleased when the gaffer mentioned it to me and happy to get it sorted as quick as possible. So when I spoke to you a couple of months ago, you were saying, look, I could play under 23s, mm. see how we go with that, but you wanted to play competitive football. You've done that and you started well. Yeah, I feel like I've learned a lot already, so I feel like it's a really good place for me to develop. Big club, really good manager, good coaching staff, Bury and Jan, so yeah, I feel like I can develop here. How much are you actually enjoying being out there? Because you've scored a couple of goals and seem to be delighted with it. Yeah, I'm loving it, to be fair. I feel like I've settled into the team well when I've been playing, so I just want to carry on uh, performing well and get some wins. Is it a question that you, you're still not absolutely pinned down a particular place on the pitch, like a, a, a number 10, something like that? Uh, yeah, maybe. Obviously, I won in the team last Saturday, so I can't say that I've cemented my place properly, but um, hopefully, if I just keep performing well, that's all I can do, and then it's up to the manager then. How have you found the, you know, to adapt from where you were into competitive nature in the National League North? Um, obviously, it's just, like football is just a game, in it? But, like, just in terms of the balls in the air a lot more. Like I said in the last interview, like, you just got to make sure when you do get the ball that you do good things with it, because, well... You don't get a lot. You don't get as much as a, of it of the ball. Josh demands, you know, retention of the ball, yeah. keep possession in it, and press high at the pitch. Yeah, he does exactly. So, just try and do that as much as I can. And at the weekend, FA Cup tie, Solihull Moors yeah. um, challenge, but yeah. there for the taking. Yeah, definitely. We well, we're feeling confident going into it. I know maybe we're underdogs, but I still think that we, sh we could we should win the game. How much do a difference do you think the crowd could could make to help you? Yeah, massive because it's. It's a good atmosphere at Edgar Street when, when all the fans are there, so and obviously big game, so it'd be even better. And would this be the biggest game you'd ever played in? Yeah, compet I'd probably say so competitive-wise, definitely. So if you can get through, uh, first round proper, who would you fancy? Um, like a Sunderland away or something like that, that would be good, wouldn't it? Well, that would be good, wouldn't it, yeah. go up to Sunderland, but yeah. uh, you've got to get this job done and yeah. looks a solid a, a, a good unit. Yeah, we're just focusing on Saturday now and we know we know we can win the game, so we're just going to do a good session today on the, what we're going to do and hopefully we can some, uh, go in Saturday and win. Well, good luck Saturday. Thank you, Keith.